The U.S. Army is looking for some serious next-gen wearable tech, and guess who's bidding for it? Drumroll, please, it's Meta. Yep, you heard that right. The company formerly known as Facebook is teaming up with defense firm Anderil Industries to put together a package worth a cool $100 million. And let me tell you, it's not your average government contract. This project codenamed Eagle Eye is all about giving soldiers a high-tech edge on the battlefield. Think of it as Iron Man meets Special Forces. The plan is to develop augmented reality and virtual reality wearables that can do some pretty mind-blowing stuff. We're talking drone detection from miles away, spotting hidden threats, getting real-time AI-powered analytics, and much more. And who better to deliver this futuristic gear than Meta and Anduril? Together, they bring a ton of experience in developing cutting-edge technology. Meta with its expertise in VR and AR, and Anduril with its background in defense and aerospace engineering. It's a match made in, well, Silicon Valley. In fact, Anduril's founder and CEO, Palmer Lucky, he's also the founder of Oculus VR. So this is like a homecoming of sorts for him. During a visit to the company's headquarters in Virginia, Meta CEO Mark Zuckerberg had this to say about the partnership. We have a responsibility to protect our interests at home and abroad, and we take that responsibility seriously. He went on to say that the technology they're developing will help to protect U.S. forces while they're deployed overseas. Now let's take a quick look at what Anduril does. They've got some pretty impressive stuff in the works. Their AI-powered autonomous systems are designed to give soldiers an edge on the battlefield. For example, their Lattice OS software can analyze vast amounts of data from various sources to provide soldiers with real-time insights on the situation around them. It's like having a super smart assistant on your helmet. Another cool thing about Anduril is their approach to training. Their live training exercises simulate real-world scenarios, allowing soldiers to practice and refine their skills in a safe environment. So what do you think? Should big tech like Meta be involved in developing military wearables? Is this the future of warfare or a step too far? Let us know in the comments below. And don't forget to like and follow for more updates on the latest tech news. You won't want to miss what's coming next. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.